Hey friends, I just want to share with you some frustrations that I've run into with iWorked 2016 pages. I'm going to open up a document that I've had proofed, and because I'm writing an APA style, I uh, just want to show you real quick. It's got a brain. This is pages 561. It's April 2016 right now. So current and up to date. Um, so I wrote this document and I was proofed and told that I need to add in my header the two words running head. This only shows up on your first page though. Um, you don't want it to be on all your pages. So how do you get rid of that? Well, you do something really easy, but you have to do it um, because it's buggy um, at the beginning uh, when you're initially creating your document. So, how do you fix this though if you have a document existing and you want to just add that? Two simple words. The easiest way I found to do it, because there's no um, simple inspector as there used to be with extra settings, but it's quite simplified. I'm going to do a new document. I'm going to choose blank. And I'm going to copy over everything in sections and then over here we're going to enter the page number and then I'm going to copy my text from the first page alright so what do you do from here I'm going to go ahead and open up the thumbnail view because as you'll see in my original document as I was messing around with things um, you're basically correct, creating a new section and a section can have subsections. So in the old document right here I have a section and these are the subsections belonging to page 1. Well in order to have a different header right here on my page 2 this needs to be a second section. Um, so messing around with it I created a blank page that I can't delete and a section at the end that isn't helpful because some reason it automatically creates a new section at the end of the document, which is why we've created this new document. So coming to here, we're going to go to Document, Selection, and we're going to create a new section, but you have to unhighlight this because there's no way to change it later on. Create a new selection after this selection, meaning after this page, and voila. So we now have a second page below and a new header that I can delete or change the title as I like and I can return to the first page and I still have that running head come here and I can just start typing up or copying and paste at this point the body of my main document as you would. Um, the numbers follow um, although it's a new section and then um, as you enter your text in your body text and you go to insert page break you'll see now that um, these pages are all subsets of the second section that we created. And my other frustration while I'm at it, in case anyone from Apple is watching, is there's no way to edit these sections up in your header. So if I wanted to put in my full title, which isn't all that long for the following pages, um, Child Prostitution in Thailand looks beautiful it cuts off at half the page. There's no way to fix that besides reducing the length of your title. Um, it would be nice because I could later on fit that right here. Um, but I don't want to risk um, messing up my APA layout. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. Bye.